everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is episode 4 of the JDA bot coding tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to use reactions inside of your Discord bot, how to detect reactions and also how to add reactions to messages. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So let's get back into Eclipse just like we left off in the last episode. Nothing's really changed since last episode, everything is exactly the same as we left off. But today we're going to be adding a few more classes, mainly just one more listener. In last episode we learned about listeners and how to use them properly, and this episode we're going to be continuing on with that and creating a new listener to listen for reactions. But anyways, in this episode we're going to be detecting when a user sends a message, and then when the user sends a message, the bot is going to add an X kind of reaction to it, and then if the user clicks the X, then it'll delete the message. So I'll guide you exactly how to do that in this video. So let's get started. So basically, we're going to go back into our project here. Now we're going to have to create a new class in a second. So let's go back into our project listing here. And under this events package, we're going to create a new event for guild message received events. So we're going to be detecting a new event. So right click on this, click class. And I'm just going to call it uh, guild message and then received. Uh, we typed that a lot. And this is going to be a listener, so every single listener in JDA, as you can remember, starts with extends listener adapter. So this should be something you already probably know by this point, because I've repeated it, uh, I think, in every single video. So yeah, that's nice. But anyways, yeah, we're going to create our uh, listener method here. So public void on guild message and then received over here. And I think this is the point of the video where I also mentioned that I still don't know how to type. So anyway, guild, oh geez, guild message received and then event and I mess up on typing this part every single time in every video. It's probably a tradition at this point. Anyways, so yeah, make sure you import everything. I've imported everything successfully in here. And in this class is going to be something very simple. It's going to basically add the reaction to the message. So every time a user sends a message or a user sends a message inside the guild, right? So every time the bot receives a message, technically, um, it'll add a reaction. So what we'll do is we'll do the Event dot get message. So we're getting the message that was sent by the user in the channel. So we'll get the message, and then what do we want to do with the message? Well, we want to add a reaction. So we're just going to do dot add reaction. Simple as that. Then put two quotes in here. So it'll be like a string. A string, as you can remember, is just text. And let's type Q right at the end here. Okay, the eclipse is being nice. Uh, dot Q at the end. Save that. Now inside of these two quotes, we want to put the reaction we want it to send. Now, as I said, I want it to send an X kind of thing. So I'm going to press Windows key and uh, period to actually select the X and let's see if I can do it. There we go. X right there and just save it as UTF-8 as you remember. Uh, it always does this in Eclipse. So now at this point, it'll add a reaction to the message that we send. So now we have our listener ready. We just have to register our listener in the main class. Remember, don't forget this. Otherwise, your listener will not work. All this code won't work if you don't register it. So go back to the television class and then we're going to create uh, a new dot add event listener thing here so just jda dot add event listener and then we'll do new and then we'll call it whatever it's called so in our case it says guild message received event so we'll do guild message received event here guild message received that's what i called it not event but there we go we've added our listener and at this point if we run the bot i will actually just demonstrate this very easily just click run television up there it'll open our console i'm gonna drag it just down here and our bot is successful. So now if we go to our test channel, by the way, like uh, I've had people like get the bot token. Uh, well, of course I gave it away, but people have done some interesting things with the bot token, but I cleared that out because I uh, don't want that on the video. But anyways, just gonna type F and you'll see that it adds a reaction. Now what I wanna do now is I want it so when you click the reaction, it'll delete the message. Now you wanna make sure that the sender of the message, so basically me, is the only person that can delete the, the actual message with this. So. Uh, for now, we've got this, but it won't do anything. So let's add the listener to detect for when a user clicks on this. So we'll do that. So let's go back into our Eclipse. Let's stop the bot from uh, existence because we don't need it right now. And let's add another listener. So this listener is going to listen for when a reaction is added inside of the guild. So as you can assume, it's probably going to be called guild message reaction add. And that's the event we're going to do. So guild message reaction add. And we're just going to call it that. And remember, this is a listener, so we're going to have to extend the listener adapter yet again. And then the event you want to use inside of here is going to be uh, public void on guild message reaction add. It's kind of long. And then this next part is even longer. So guild message reaction and then add and then event and then event. A lot of events. And there we go. So now we've got our guild message reaction add event. 
These naming schemes are very long, but you know exactly what it does. So now what we want to do is we want to detect what kind of reaction the user clicks. So what we'll do is we'll do an if statement because if statements allow you to check for things. As we've done before, we're going to check for a condition here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do event dot get reaction emote. So this is going to get the actual reaction that they use. So if they click an X, this is going to basically return an X here. But we want to check the type it is. So we're going to do dot get name. And I know this is a little confusing. I'll explain in a second. But we'll do dot equals at the end to check that it uh, equals something. And of course, inside of here, we're going to put our X reaction. Windows helped me there. And save as UTF-8 once again. Okay, so basically, what this does is it checks if the reaction is an X. But the th confusing part about this, the naming scheme is, you get the reaction emote and you have to get the name of it, which is confusing because, well, the name is actually the reaction, but it's just how it is. So this is all you have to do to detect the type of reaction. And you can put any single emote here if you want to change it. So now I want to introduce you to something else. And this is going to give superpowers to your if statements. Basically, we're going to be able to check multiple things in a single if statement. So the way to do this in Java is just press space and and or ampersand, ampersand, whatever those things are called. And then we can check for another condition inside of here. So we can do if the event equals this, and also if the user that sent it is the owner of the message. So anyway, let's just do that. So we're, I'm going to create a new line just for ease. And I'm actually going to check to make sure that the person that adds the reaction isn't the bot. Because if this runs and it detects that the bot added it, it'll delete the bot's own reaction. So it'll delete this initial one right here. And you don't want that to happen. So we're going to prevent that from happening by putting a exclamation mark in front. And I'll show you what that does in a second. But anyway, so anyway, we're going to get the member that sent the message. And then we're going to do dot get user. So we're going to get the actual user of the channel. And we're going to make sure it's uh, equal to something. Now we want to make sure... Uh, it's not equal to the bot. So the way we do that is we do event.getJDA, which is going to get the actual bot. And then we can get self user, which is the bot's own user. So now we got that. What it's going to check for is if the user that sent it is a bot or the actual bot that we have. The thing is we want to invert that. So we want to make sure it's not the bot. So what this exclamation point in front does is it checks if it's not whatever we put in here. Very useful. So you can do the exact inverse of what you wanted to check at first. All right, so now we've got that. So I'm going to actually use another if statement inside. You can do another ampersand ampersand inside of here, but I'm going to do another thing here. Inside of this if statement that we just created, we're going to put another if statement. So nested if statements. Um, and inside of here is where we're going to check to make sure that the user that added the emote is the user that owns the message. If not, then we'll have an else statement here that does nothing, basically removes the reaction. So we're going to check to make sure inside of here that the member that is adding the reaction is the author of the message. So we're going to do event dot get member uh, dot get user in this case dot equals and dot equals. And now we've got to fetch the message. So we're just going to do event dot get channel dot get message by ID. We're going to do event dot get message ID. And then we want to get the actual author of the message. So I'm going to find where this ends here. I think it's here. All right. And then we're going to do dot get. Or actually, we're going to do dot complete in this case. And we're going to do dot get author. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay. So that's a little confusing. So basically what we did here. And I'll explain this because it's a fairly long thing. Basically what we do is we check if the user. So we'll get, we're getting the user that actually added the uh, reaction emote. And then... We check if it's the user that actually created the message. So we'll, we're getting the channel and we're getting the message that the reaction was added to. And then we're getting the author of the, that's the message that we did. And in this case, we have to use dot complete. So it actually does the action. And then after that, we can get the author. Fairly complex. So basically now, uh, if it's the author and I'm going to use proper grammar so nobody screams at me in the comments. So if it's the author, we want to delete uh, the message. So we're going to do event dot get channel and we're going to do something similar as we did before. We're going to get message by ID uh, because for some reason it wants message IDs. But anyway, event dot get message ID dot complete. So, oh, geez, nope. We want to want to do that. We want to go outside and do dot complete here. And then we want to do dot delete and then dot Q. So I, I don't know why it's a little weird because it wants you to complete and then it wants you to queue, but it works. So that's all that matters. And if it's not the member, so if it's if not the author, um, proper grammar and stuff. And if it's not the author, we want to remove the reaction. So we'll do event dot get reaction dot remove reaction. And then we want to dot queue or you can do dot complete. I'm pretty sure. And for some reason, Eclipse is messing up again. Dot, oh, my gosh. Oh, geez. All right. So after that uh, technical difficulty over there, we've got dot q at the end 
So yeah, now what this will do is if the reaction is uh, the X and also if the user is not the bot, it'll check if the user was uh, if the user that added the reaction is the user that sent it. If it is, delete the message. And then if it's not, delete the reaction. Uh, and that's about it. So all we have to do now is we have to actually register the listener. Do not forget to register the reaction add listener. Very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to be screaming at me down below in the comments. Anyway, so uh, we're going to do message reaction add. There we go. That's about it. So now we're going to run our bot. And uh, we didn't run our bot that many times in this episode. We should probably do that more. Anyways, so now we've got the bot ready. We're going to go to our test channel. I'm going to delete this to pretend like it doesn't exist. Delete. Okay. So we're going to do test. And now what we do is we click it. And if it's us, it'll delete the message. Now I have a way to test this. Uh, so I'll open up another user here in a second. So yeah, now I've got another account. I've loaded up another instance of Discord. And I'm box VPS tester now. I'm not my own account, so we're going to go into my own account here. We're just going to type test, and now uh, we'll see that it as a reaction. Now, keep in mind that I'm not going to be deleting it off of my account here. I'm going to be testing to make sure another account can't delete the message. So, box VPS tester, we're going to click on this, and it should remove the reaction, and it did. So now, we can make sure that another user can't delete our own messages. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you can find it useful. The source code will be down below in the description. I'll have a link all the source code we used in this episode so you can use it and modify it and copy it and do whatever you want with it but anyways guys uh also by the way uh as usual check the discord server out uh i'll have a link down below in the description and that's about it for this episode so anyways guys i'm out i'll see you in the next one